We're here on the Central Oregon coast, bringing art on the beach to the Pacific Northwest. Start turning. Basically, we're using this incredibly beautiful palette of a beach as our canvas. We have a saying called art illuminating science. Science anchors the head and feeds that part of our knowledge curiosity. What we're saying is let's go a little lower in our bodies, into our hearts and into our guts and really feel it. So, you know, we don't come to the beach as an intellectual exercise. We come here because we're full of awe, full of wonder, plugging into something other than humans. This flag to this flag. And so we have Frank Boyden here who did the wonder piece uh, with my mother, who's a calligrapher. He gave her the word and she calligraphed it and we blew it up as big as a football field. We have Rebecca Welty, who is a really well-known artist that has taken plankton as her cause, phytoenzooplankton, showing us that it's at the root of the food chain and things like breathing oxygen, like 70% of the oxygen on the planet, little things like that. Things that are less than a centimeter across, uh, we blew up to be 80, 90 feet across. And everything out here in this incredible marine reserve and in the Cascade Biosphere Reserve, the foundation of that house is these creatures. Plankton and phytoplankton are really some of the most important building block on our planet. And so I think having the opportunity for people to be able to come out and see what those might look like and talk to people who might be able to explain that a little bit. <coughs> seeing what this combination of art and science was gonna look like and letting him experience that was really important for us today. We've done it. We've done it. So we're using art, traditional ecological knowledge, and science as the portals into understanding what climate change is doing uh, here along the Oregon coast, as well as people developing a deeper relationship and connection to the place, but also to these changes in the climate that are happening.